The Spokane Hatchery was constructed in 1934 and stands as one of the oldest and largest fish hatcheries in the state of Washington. This facility produces approximately 1.8 million fish annually, of which 885,000 are rainbow trout. The rest are comprised of kokanee salmon, West Slope cutthroat trout, brown trout, tiger trout, and eastern brook trout. One of the most important functions of the Spokane Hatchery is the maintenance of their rainbow trout broodstock. Broodstock is defined as a group of mature fish that are used for breeding purposes. In this case, hatchery staff maintain a population of rainbow trout that are spawned at the end of their third year of life. Rainbow trout spawning takes place starting in November and continues into the first week in January. So how do hatchery staff spawn these rainbow trout? Well, let's take a closer look. The process starts by separating male and female fish into separate ponds. Once separated, the females are netted into large tanks with anesthetic, which calms the fish enough to be handled. The abdomen of each fish is gently squeezed and if eggs appear, she is ready to spawn. Females that are ready to spawn are sorted into wire cages until staff have completely sorted them all. 91! 94! 95! To harvest the eggs from the female trout, an oxygen needle is inserted into the body cavity just above the pelvic fin. A small amount of pressure painlessly forces out thousands of eggs. Harvested eggs are placed in a bucket with the eggs from other females. There are approximately 25 to 30,000 eggs in each bucket. On the other side of the pond are the male rainbow trout. At this station, males are gently squeezed along the abdomen to collect the sperm. The sperm of the male fish is also called milt, spelled M-I-L-T. Sperm is collected in cups, poured into plastic bags, and transferred to the hatchery building for fertilization. To start the fertilization process, the sperm of multiple male trout is applied to the eggs of multiple female trout at a ratio of one male to one female, followed by a mild saline solution, which promotes a higher level of fertilization. Cell division and growth begins immediately. After fertilization, eggs are transferred into baskets. Each basket is dipped into an iodine bath for 10 minutes to kill any bacteria or fungus. Eggs are then placed into freshwater troughs to continue developing. After about 15 days, each egg will start showing a black eye spot. At this point, the bad eggs that were not fertilized need to be removed from the fertilized eggs. To start the sorting process, eggs are poured over a series of three metal grates. Fertilized eggs will simply bounce to the bottom unharmed, whereas unfertilized eggs will burst upon hitting these grates, turning them to a white color, which is easier to sort. Next, eggs are fed through a gin sorter machine. This is probably the coolest part of this whole process. This machine uses a laser to sort through healthy and unhealthy eggs at a speed of 30 milliseconds per egg. Prior to this technology, unhealthy eggs were sorted by hand, which took much, much longer. These days, sorting by hand is still practiced, but only to remove the few eggs that are missed by the gen sorter machine. A large portion of these eggs, about 3.8 million, are shipped out to other state, tribal, and PUD hatcheries, including Chelan, Columbia Basin, Colville, Ford, Lyons Ferry, Meesburg, and Omak. 
Lots of 100 eggs are carefully weighed to estimate the total number of eggs being shipped. Eggs are then carefully packaged with cheesecloth and water and shipped out to their destination. About a million and a half eggs are kept in baskets for continued rearing at the Spokane Hatchery. We hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction to rainbow trout spawning at the Spokane Hatchery. The importance of this work is best reflected in the faces of anglers who take part in Washington's trout fisheries. Thank you for watching.